At this stage, you need to analyze your research. Now, this is a new section of the MART scheme, which is related to the development of the design brief and specification. So the two sections that the analyzing relates to is thoroughly considering a range of problems or opportunities in detail before deciding upon the final design brief and demonstrating a very good understanding of the task ahead and the requirements which um, have to meet and, uh, and satisfy fully the needs, wants and interests of the potential users. So basically what we're saying here is um, you've thoroughly considered a range of problems and opp or opportunities. So we need, through your research, you should have hopefully come up with a load of things related to the contextual challenge that will inform your design brief um, and demonstrates a good understanding of the, of the um, requirements and fully satisfy the needs, wants and interests of the potential user. So you need to really think about the potential user who you're designing it for. And then obviously these ones are just the lower grade, so consider a range. A good understanding as opposed to a very good understanding. Consider some problems, general understanding, um, single opportunity, and then demonstrate limited understanding. Okay, and again, looking at the design for a sustainable future contextual challenge option. Now, um, the way I'd go about doing this is you need to analyze all the research that you've done. Um, what did you learn? From your research what problems opportunities did you find how do you think you could solve these problems or opportunities how is the information that you've learned going to help you with your chosen contextual challenge so these are the researches that are the research things that i did so user research internet inspiration board existing products textbook and youtube research now it's not as big of a task as what you think, because hopefully through your research, you will have already analysed what you learnt. So it's just going to be a case of copying and pasting it across, maybe simplifying it down a little bit and then explaining how it links to the contextual challenge. So if we go back, so this was the YouTube research. So I've already explained what I've learnt and how it's going to help me in this section. So effectively, by copying and pasting this bit, I've answered the first or should have answered the first three questions um, that was on this section. So if you have a look, um, this was the first research. So I just copied and pasted what I learned from the user research. I simplified it down. I didn't give it as detailed of an explanation um, and just deleted some bits to simplify it. But all of these things I learned from the user research. And then there's just a little section here. The main things that I've learned from the user research that will help me with my contextual challenge are my user um, likes products that are made from recycled materials and products that are made uh, by not using finite resources. So this is all I've learned from my research that I can use to inspire my work. But specifically, this is what relates to the contextual challenge mainly. So here, sustainable, it needs to be sustainable. So um, there's a whole range of information in there that you can that you can take from. Okay, now it's the same for the inspiration board. If I go back to the inspiration board, let's see if we can find it. Here it is. I literally took my analysis of what I've learned, copied and pasted this section into this bit. I simplified it a little bit if I needed to. And then I've explained specifically how the inspiration board links to the contextual challenge. The main things that I've learned from the inspiration board is it will help me with the contextual challenge. Our laminated materials together would be good for recycled materials, upcycling, upcycling barrels and suitcases works well. And then again, same for the internet research. And then I've explained how it links to the contextual challenge. So and the same for existing products, YouTube, and then the textbook research, and then how the most important things links to the contextual challenge explained. Okay, so it's uh, not as big of a job as what you think, because hopefully you should, throughout your research, have already analysed everything, and then you just need to make sure that it's really clear, you know, how it links to the contextual challenges, and then your ideas then moving forward, and then you can use this information, this and this information to help you build a picture as to what you should be making and what you should be considering and what you should be doing. Okay, thank you.